Hey everyone, it's Easter Sunday, uh, April the 5th, and I'm on duty right now. I'm actually on 24 hour duty. Basically what duty is, is you're keeping a building safe. So you're the eyes and ears of the command while nobody's around. Uh, you could be on duty with multiple people or you could be on duty alone. And there's also a couple different kinds of duty. For example, uh, there is the 24 hour duty, which I am standing right now. I'm called a DNCO, which is typically a corporal or a sergeant, and I'm standing duty by myself. Now, if you have duty at the barracks, that's typically two people. That's typically a lance corporal or a corporal, and a staff sergeant or a gunnery sergeant or some sort of staff NCO. And on the weekends, you'll also have a third person, which is typically a captain or a major or some kind of officer. Uh, to stand duty on the weekends with you. So if you live in the barracks, you probably have duty twice a month, most likely. You'll probably have one duty where it's a 24 hour duty, and then later that month, you might have that four hour duty where at nighttime you just rove around the barracks and make sure nothing crazy is going on. Now, rules for duty vary from place to place. So the duty rules for Camp Pendleton, California may be different than the duty rules for the Pentagon. For example, some places make you wear your dress uniforms, your, your Bravos or your Charlies, um, but my command doesn't. They let us wear our rolled sleeves and camis. Some places don't let you use cell phones, internet, computers, stuff like that. Some places are very, very strict on what you can and can't do on duty. And really, that just depends on your commander, um, and basically what dumb things Marines have done in the past. I mean, it only takes one Marine to ruin it for everybody else, and everybody knows that. So, luckily, where I'm at now, I can have my laptop over here, I have my cell phone here, I typically read a book or two while I'm here, do some, do some online training. Basically, you have 24 full hours to do whatever you want within the realm of this desk right here. It kind of forces you to be a little bit productive, so stuff you typically wouldn't do during the day, you're like, well, crap, I've got 24 full hours, so I might as well work on something. So a lot of people will read a book, or they'll do their college classes, or they'll do their online training for the Marine Corps. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that you can do and use that time instead of just sitting here behind the desk watching YouTube videos all day. Uh, or scribbling tic-tac-toe or whatever. Now there's a couple things that you do while you're on duty. You don't just sit behind a desk the whole time. You get a very nifty duty belt that you wear around while you're on duty. And the duty belt just signifies that you're the Marine on duty. So if you're walking around the barracks and you tell somebody to, hey, pick up that trash or hey, quit getting this drunk, it's not very good. You should probably do that in your room. Don't be afraid to assert yourself whenever somebody's doing something wrong. You also get a duty log book. It's called a record book. It's typically green. This is your responsibility and really it's a legal record. So if anything bad were to happen while you're on duty, they have a record of it. Now it's up to you to make sure that you keep that record spotless. So if anything happens, you have to log it in the log book or else then it becomes your fault. For example, if an accident happens in the barracks, I have to record that. I have to say, Sergeant Schmuckatelli punched Corporal whoever in the nose, right? Okay, those are some really lame last names, but I have to record that. So when they go to the court or a court martial or they need to reference that, I have it in the logbook and it's an official record. You also sign off in the logbook when you go on tour, when you hit the rack, if you go to sleep at night around 10 o'clock or if they let you sleep, you have to log that also. Or when you do colors, for example, when you raise or lower the flag. Another thing you might get while you're on duty is the duty cell phone and that just lets you communicate with the other duties. Uh, for example, there's a staff sergeant and a corporal on duty right now at the barracks and I use a cell phone to keep in contact with them if there's anything that needs to be passed, if there's any kind of word that need, they need to pass to me. Also the cell phone is nice because then if, if I need to relay a word that, hey, I need to get some chow for dinner, uh, the staff sergeant can come over, relieve me of my position, I'll go get chow and bring it back. So that way we help each other out. The last thing you get is some nifty janitor keys. It's your job to make sure all the doors are locked and secured so nobody can just go walking in and steal whatever they want. I have about five or six buildings that are my responsibility right now. So when I walk around, I go and make sure that every one of those buildings have locked doors and locked windows. Because if someone were to break into them and I didn't lock it, 
Technically, it's my phone now. So again, you wanna double check that you locked all the doors and then log it in the record book. Now I know what you're thinking. Clayton, how can you be so happy to have duty and it's Easter Sunday? You could be out with your family, you could be at home, but you're on duty. How in the world could you still be positive? Having duty really does stink. Not gonna lie, it's something that you have to do, but everybody has to do it. So I could complain and say, oh, I've got duty on Easter, or I could just suck it up, read a book, do some online education, and enjoy my time while I'm on duty. Plus, tomorrow is Monday, and luckily my shop gives you the day off after duty. That day off is called a recovery day. So I have the whole day to myself to recuperate and just get my mind right for the work week. So yes, I may be losing a Sunday and it may be Easter, but hey, tomorrow I have off. I'll give you a quick example of how to go on tour, and then I'm gonna have to go because I'm keeping America safe today. Even though duty really does stink to have sometimes and it does ruin your plans, it's really important and it's something that should be taken seriously. It keeps Marines safe and it keeps the base safe. 